All right, in this video, we're going to do some optimization problems. And all optimization problems basically are you, you basically, there's something you're trying to usually maximize or minimize. And in that sense, you're finding optimal values. Um, the idea for these problems is pretty much when you're finding absolute maximums, um, local maximums, you, you, you have a function that you need to come up with, you take the derivative of it, you find the critical numbers. And that's basically the context of the problem. A lot of times the tricky part is just going to be, you know, maybe the geometry or coming up with the function that you actually have to take a derivative of. So in this first problem, um, I'm going to do one relatively straightforward. So find the dimensions of a rectangle that has an area of 1,000 square meters, and but we want the perimeter to be as small as possible. So you could probably play around with this and almost just figure it out through trial and error, but obviously the techniques that are used are what are important because then you can apply those to more complicated problems so I don't have much information to go on just yet except for it's a rectangle so I'll call the the width of the rectangle X and I'll call the height of it Y well the thing that I'm trying to in this case minimize is the perimeter and the perimeter of this rectangle would be X plus X Y plus y. So I would have 2x plus 2y. And this is the thing that I'm trying to minimize in this case. So eventually I'm going to have to take the derivative of this thing. Whatever you're trying to minimize or maximize, this is what you're going to take the derivative of. Okay, but one thing um, you want to do before anything is you want to get this down to a single variable. Well, the way I can get this down to a single variable is I have what you can call a constraint. And the constraint in this problem is that the area has to equal 1,000. Well, the area of this rectangle is just going to be x times y. And I'm going to use this constraint. I'm going to plug this back in so that I can get the thing that I'm going to take the derivative of down to a single variable. So I could simply divide both sides by x and get that y is equal to 1,000 divided by x. All right, so if I plug that in now, so again, the perimeter, we said, the perimeter was equal to 2x plus 2 times y. But y, we said, is equivalent to 1,000 over x. That's what we just did. So I'm going to simplify this. We get 2x plus 2,000 over x. But I'm going to write that as x to the negative first, just uh, so that it, it'll make taking my derivative a little bit easier. At least for me, it makes it a little clearer. So this is the thing that I'm trying to, again, minimize. So I'm going to take the derivative of it. So the derivative of 2x is just 2. The x to the negative first, the negative will come out front, we'll get negative 2,000 x to the negative second. And now we have to find the critical numbers of this equation. So I'm going to write this as 2 minus 2,000 over x squared. And when finding critical numbers, I like to group things into a single fraction. That way I can set the top part equal to 0, the bottom part equal to 0. So if I multiply top and bottom of the first term by x squared, I'll get 2x squared minus 2,000 all over x squared. So the critical numbers for this equation, I'll get, I'll set 2x squared minus 2,000 equal to 0, and I'll solve that. So it looks like if you add 2,000 and divide by 2, you'll get that x squared equals 1,000. So that means that x here is going to equal the square root of 1,000, which unfortunately I don't think is a nice whole number, so um, I'm just going to leave it alone. Also, if we set the bottom equal to 0, we'll get that x squared equals 0, but that means x equals 0, and clearly x equals 0, even though it's a critical number of that derivative, it doesn't make sense to make x equal to 0, then you're not even going to have a, uh, you're not going to have any, any rectangle at all, right? There's no width associated with it. So 
even though mathematically zero is a critical number, we can just rule that out and, and just know that that doesn't make any sense. So technically to check that this is a critical number, we should take a number smaller than square root of a thousand and x has to be at least zero so maybe I'll plug one into my derivative. Notice if I get if I plug one into my derivative I'm gonna get a negative number and that means that the perimeter is decreasing up until this length and you can check that if you take something a little bit bigger than square root of a thousand it's gonna be positive which means the perimeter then is getting bigger. So I now know that the width x of my rectangle has to equal square root of 1000. Well, now I can simply plug that back in. So I know that the total area has to equal 1000. So if I plug in the square root of 1000, well the square root of 1000 times the square root of 1000 equals 1000. So actually y would also have to equal square root of 1000. So it turns out that I've actually got a special type of rectangle, namely my rectangle is a square. So your dimensions in this case would simply be the square root of 1000 times the square root of 1000. Okay. So again, this is the basic idea. Draw things real generically. Whatever you're trying to maximize or minimize, that's what you have to take the derivative of. You want to get this down to a single variable. Um, you know, in some problems you'll have that given to you immediately. Other times you'll have to use this, in this case, this constraint, just like we did. And after that, it's just a matter of taking your derivative, like we did here, figuring out all your critical numbers, justifying that that, in this case, was a minimum, and then you have your solution. So I'm going to do another optimization problem, um, but I don't want to run over my 10 minute time limit. So you can definitely dig around. There should be one close to where you found this one. Also, I've got links and lots of other videos on my website, so feel free to take a look at take a look there as well.